This would be case D four nine five zero eight two Lindsay Souza versus Quapada. Looks like everybody has uh, received the uh, results. This uh, matter was last before the court um, on November twenty third, twenty fifteen. At that time, we sent the parties out to uh, ATI for testing. The court has received those results. Additionally, um, given the allegations in mom's opposition, uh, more specifically that uh, the plaintiff um, has recently done time or made allegations regarding uh, criminal allegations, the court has run criminal scope. So if it wasn't in the state of Nevada, where was it at if in fact he did it? No, it wasn't plaintiff, it was plaintiff's dad. Oh, plaintiff's dad. Plaintiff's dad. Oh, I'm sorry, I misread that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, sometimes uh, no actions in the gallery. Yes. Right. Uh, um, Your Honor, it's it's, it's our motion. Um, oh, let me. You, you, I'm sorry. There, there's stuff you would probably have no idea. Do you have any idea what's in a criminal scope? No. Do you? Well, I, I don't care, obviously, the fact that she works at the Palomino Club. What I do care is the fact that she picked up a, a DUI uh, in July, that she picked up a soliciting prostitution in on October 27th, and then she picked up a couple of traffic charges after that, which possibly is related to uh, the weed smoking. Do you remember what you told me about the weed smoking when I asked you in court? What would you tell me? That I quit. No, I mean specifically when I ask, when was the last time you specifically smoked? Yes, sir, I told you three months, what did, but I corrected myself to my attorney right after I told you that. You didn't correct it in court. No, she did. Her. after Judge, after we had stepped out, she did correct it to me. And say then why not come right? back in and put that on the record? We were all gone. Ridiculous. She did correct it. Not with the court, she didn't. Not with the court, she didn't. She corrected it with me. I told her right here on the table. Miss Rosenblum, at the end, what does that matter? I, look, the results are the results, right? I mean, results it, are the results, the and results she could have absolutely results. come in and have veracity because that's why how we're going to deal with her in a different aspect. First of all, she's got an alcohol issue with the DUI. With a DUI charge for marijuana. Oh, so then we really have a problem with weed. It wasn't for alcohol. All right. But they didn't have, find anything on me. They just said my eyes were red, so he wrote me a ticket for marijuana. <laughs> your Honor, can I you say know, your head I, I, let, let me tell you what the problem here. It's denial. If somebody what? Comes, if if somebody comes in here, I've seen it a million times. I'm a meth addict. I'm a prostitute. I'm trying to get help. I love my child. So that's one thing. But when somebody comes in here outrageously, I don't have an alcohol problem. It was a weed DUI. Oh, I'm just a dancer, but I'm really a prostitute. It's a denial, Your Honor. That's what's getting us here. And she clearly said, I have in my notes, and my clients heard it, three months that she hasn't used marijuana when it says that it's in her urine. We all know that she used it recently. But amazingly, even with the scope report and the weed usage and the lie to your honor's face, I have evidence that they just hand me in the hall that's even worse than that. Guess who's going down again for another drug test? And I'm going to ask her right now if she's used between now and then. And I will also know the results of that well, after it, because I'm still going to strap her up probably with if it if – it, uh, usually – here's the thing. Give me one second. I thought they worded it as different. So she's either a chronic user or she's... Or you, she's you have every right, Mr. Mann, to get, because I sense a little bit more misrepresentation, because usually it says DUI under controlled substance. The way that this is listed under a scope is DUI above the legal limit. Well, well, we'll find out. But, Your Honor, what's even worse, in our opinion, than the scope and the marijuana is what was handed to me when I came into the court, which is outrageous, and we hope the court finds it as shocking as we do. When we're in this proceeding, when we should be under the court's watchful eye, when she should be on her best behavior, maybe quitting her job, stopping the prostitution, stopping the drug use, stopping all of that, she leaves the child alone at school where the ch that I have, this is an original photo where, was it yesterday? 
Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday, she leaves a child at school unattended to where the school calls him and says, hey, we've got to call CPS unless you come down and get the child right now. So it shows exactly what we said. Not only does she have all these problems, not only is she lying, but the moment you'd think she'd be on her best behavior, she leaves the child at school unattended to where CPS is going to get involved. Then when she, it's just outrageous. I could go on for a half an hour. Then when no. she returns a child on 1130, the child has pictures here that will make somebody want to be nauseated of where he has some kind of injury to his arm that was not there when the child was given. Um, so, I mean, I, I think that's far enough, but I would just note a couple things from our motion. Um, obviously, we're proven out that our accusation of, of the drugs, we have all kinds of exhibits. She was stoned while shopping, arranging to buy marijuana in Hawaii on her Facebook with her kids present. Outrageous. No other way to say it. Exhibit three, plan to take the child and man by drugs. Man, there, there is. This, this, I mean, I this, stop, this is the, the epitome of beating a dead horse. It really quiet, is. I I'll mean, and I'm going to suggest I will give you a case number because I, I can't. The case number for that DUI, and again, unless it, listen, scope is not perfect. Sometimes they type it in a little bit differently. But I can tell you the DUI usually is listed as under a controlled substance, and this is clearly above the legal limit, which refers to alcohol. That case is 15M1693X. And I believe that is a Las Vegas Justice Court. So a police report is going to say nothing about alcohol? No. Hmm. Okay. Didn't you understand why I don't believe you to date? And I am going to send you down for another test within the hour again. So, have you used anything since the last time we were in court? No, I have not, sir. Okay, I guess we'll see. So, I just want to say in response, I, you know, first of all, the schedule that they have, I appreciate Mr. Mann standing now here in court after we've sat here for an hour and, and claiming that my client didn't have the child picked up at school. He could have easily shown me this picture, which I still have yet to see, uh, about my client leaving the child at school. But again, we go back to the schedule that was drafted by Mr. Mann's office, which makes no sense and leaves out a complete day. So is it surprising that there's confusion? Absolutely not. The other issues, Judge, I mean, we can stand here and talk about evidence and pictures all day long. The plaintiff has an 18-year-old girlfriend who's got pictures of herself on Facebook with guns and pot and everything else. So I understand my client has a negative drug test or has a positive drug test and dad has a negative drug test, but let's look at who dad is associating with. This is dad's father's criminal case, methamphetamine trafficking, who he's still living with and is here in court. His girlfriend on Facebook with pictures of guns and weed. So as much as he wants to say my client who admits she has been a chronic user when these people were together of marijuana. They were together. They had a child. She was using marijuana then and had used marijuana up until she quit. Up until she quit. Whether it's within the last week or the last month, she says she's quit. The court's oh, going to have her tested. It certainly wasn't three months ago, I can tell you that. Well, the court's going to have her tested, and we'll find out. But it doesn't negate the fact that dad's not perfect in this relationship either. You're, uh, I missed something in that uh, most of the allegations were against his relatives. I can tell you, I, I mean, have we a few, can talk I, about I, I have where a few, does he live? I have where a few bad live? relatives myself. If you're, if you're How quite, does he support himself? Where, where's his money coming? He's just bought a brand new house and brand new cars. Rose and blue. If your client is concerned, do you, do you know well, does he have a new house or does he live with the dad? Which, which one? I'm not, it's, it's, it's. The best defense, I guess, is going offense, right? I mean, really, it is. Did you plead to the DUI? Um, yes, I did. All right. And can I also correct something? I don't and work at the Palominos. I've been, I haven't worked there. I am going solely off scope. I work at Marciano's at the Forum Shops at Caesars. I've been there for a year. Again, I'm just going off scope. Your Honor, that's even worse. Now, I have many clients that are alleged to be prostitutes. It's even when she's saying now she works at a restaurant and prostitutes what on the, the side instead of what working at What happened to the prostitution? Did you admit to the prostitution charge? 
I was with a friend who got a Did home. you admit to the no. prostitution no, charge? It's, it's, is it pending? Okay, What's yeah, happening? It's pending. Okay, it's pending. I've gone but it wasn't like she worked at Palomino and they mistook it for a lap dance or what something. What is your days She's off right now? Um, it varies every week. Right now, I took off these three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Your Honor, we can't trust her to even I pick listen. the child. We have Mr. To have Man, to... stop beating that horse that's already killed five, ten minutes ago. I apologize. All right? You guys both know what I, I do in this court. At this time until, first of all, I'm sticking you on the patch for at least 12 weeks. That's for me, you being dishonest with me. I don't know what's going in and out of your system. You are going to ATI within the hour. And I'll see the levels between then and now. Um, and in fact, Madam Clerk, let's just change that to a urine only, since she's going to have the patch on within a week. And until I get a clean patch on, I guess we'll. Uh, I, I don't want to have to set up Donna's house. Do you have anybody where you're comfortable, Mr. Ma'am, where she'd have supervised until I get her first clean patch back? Her mom? Her, her mother? Okay. Her mother, the child's grandma. Okay. So then where, where do I know my son is? They live at three different houses. He, he, he lives with his parents right now, but we're going to file probably today, right, the change of address because he's going to be moving in in a couple of weeks to a new home. He's, been lying this he's a professional fighter. That's how he makes his money. Yeah, Madam Clerk. You know, you're gonna you're gonna want to do another one because then they they think that the oh, they, client oh, okay, does it. Yeah, yeah. They get suspicious and think exactly. that the client yeah, it. does it. You want a sixty day? Um, I need, as long as her patches remain clean, um, yeah, I need, I, I can't have whatever days. I need two set days. Right now I am modifying custody based on your criminal record, based on your drug, on your substance abuse. Can it be weekends or can it be a week, a weekend day or a weekend? Okay. What's well, the court's days, inclination? Right? As long as she's w with her, and your mom's got to be there until I get your first clean patch. After I get your patch clean, then I'm not going to require supervision. So I need a day, a night, and a day, preferably. It's going to Saturday, Sunday. Saturday at noon to Sunday at noon, something like that. Is that what the court was? I mean, that's first she wants hours. morning she till like, yeah. Let's go nine till six on Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. 9 a.m. on Saturday until 6 p.m. on Saturday. Again, that's subject to if I get results back, if I have one nanogram higher than what I've got in here, I'll assume that she's uh, used again and bis dishonest yet again with this court. She will be paying for it. She'll be paying for that and the, uh, the test. And judges, just straight patch, right? Not UAs? Adoptions? They don't do UAs, but I am listing the counseling, especially given the fact she's picked up a DUI and other traffic stuff, which I suspect. But that's just my suspicions. Um, Is there any discovery open where we can get to the bottom of the criminal part, or, or do we wait for the return? That, listen, I, I, that's something I, if you find out, I've given you the case number. If you find out that that has anything alcohol related, in fact, it was an alcohol related DUI, I need you to contact Chambers immediately because then we're yet have problems on another issue and I'll consider putting her on one of the alcohol programs and possibly even suspending her contact for lying to me. But again, scope, I'll be the first, scope is 90%. Sometimes when they type in the stuff, it's, it's errant. Um, it's clearly listed as a DUI, but it says above the legal limit, and last I checked, there's no legal limit on THC. So we, okay. will, we will be back to see the status of her patches. Uh, she has a week to enroll. It'll take them a week to get the final results. So we will be back on a status check in four, around 14 weeks, Madam Clerk. You want to do 14 weeks? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's what you need to do. So, yeah. 
three and a half months. And if I, if again, you find anything regarding alcohol or anything else, uh, you need to file it with the court, contact my law clerk so he can okay. see what, what actually it is. Um, and then I might modify accordingly. Thank you. All right, but uh, temporarily your client is going to be, uh, have primary physical custody, her fit subject to her visitation. Um, and yes, I will open up discovery because she indicates she's no longer working at that particular facility and you can look into her income based on her stated income of $1,200 a month. Uh, child support will be set at 218 a month. And Judge, I'd ask for a deviation. My client has another child full time. She's not paying child support for that other child. The child lives with her full time. That's not the law, though. It's her. It's her other. It's another child. She supports full time. And I'm not with him anymore. There's not a legal obligation for child support. It's too much. Yeah, it's my birthday. It's, she's yes. just. Yeah. She's one years old. She's one. I mean, it is. A <laughs> she lives with me full time. She lives with mom full time. Just I don't me, her, and my son when he's there. And where's the father? His da her dad works, but we're not together. Right. They're well, not together. And why is he paying child support? He just pay, he helps me out with my bills. And my then rent. go after him for child support. The quest for deviations denied. I'll prepare the order, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Mayor. Temporary okay. modification, right? It is uh, temporary, but. Uh, Again, I, this is let's be let's be candid. I mean, I'm going to see where we're at right now. What's considered temporary under uh, NRS 510? They have joint uh, physical custody. Given what's been submitted to date, I modify custody without an evidentiary hearing. Absolutely on the return date. Right now, it's temporary. So on the return date, we'll consider whether we're going to set up for an evidentiary hearing, or I will make it a, a permanent order at that time. Yeah. See then.